How about this, Paul? 18th at Carnoustie. I dare say one of your favourite places in the world. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Yeah, we, I've had uh, obviously got some fantastic memories here uh, for myself uh, and my family. Things that just you'll never forget. Uh, obviously, it was a fantastic week. I live an hour from here, you know, in Aberdeen. So to win a major championship an hour from your house is pretty cool. How much of that final day can you recall now? Uh, well, funnily enough, the, the first chapter of, of my autobiography was going to be me going through the final round and where I hit it and, and what I was thinking. And I could only think of uh, four holes. Uh, but I remember bits and pieces of it, but every single shot, no, not really. They say in sport that no one remembers who comes second. And I suppose your Open Championship win is perhaps the exception. You made your own opportunity and you took it but there was also the Van der Velde situation. How much does that sit in your mind when you think about your win? Um, well, at the time, uh, obviously, I, I struggled with it for quite a while, you know, I, I'll be honest. I got quite upset quite a lot of times years ago, and, you know, my name's on the trophy and all that sort of rubbish, but I, I like Jean. Him and I have always gotten on really well. He, he came and did our foundation dinner a few years ago up in Aberdeen. We flew him in, and he was just different class. At the end of the day, um, you know, I, I, I did win, even though the way that it happens. And sometimes tournaments go like that. Not very often does it happen when someone's got a three-shot lead play in the last. And it happens so dramatically as it happened. Uh, so, you know, I can, I understand. I see it. I see it from both sides. You've had an incredible career, really. Over 500 events on the European Tour. Countless wins, of course, a winner here at the Dunhill Lynx. Yeah. Tell me about the early part of your career and when you turned pro. Where were you at with your game? Well, I turned pro in uh, 1986. I was a five handicap golfer. That was the limit for being a pro. Uh, I was doing nothing else, and I thought, man, I quite quite fancy having a kind of go at that. Um, so I, I never thought I would ever, you know, get on tour. That was a dream for me. I had to go to the tour school and got my card the first year at tour school. Finished 12th. It's just kept going. It's just snowballed. We've got 185 as a normal six iron for me, but the pins at the front. It's a little cool, so I'm gonna take a little speed off a of 5-iron and just chip it middle of the green. Let's see if we can execute. Good shot. Drawing a bit, chasing up, spinning left. I tell you what, uh, not bad. That'll do. We'll take that. We've got to talk about Ryder Cup. You played your part certainly in a big way in Medina, and I know you were a big inspiration for Stephen Gallagher. How proud were you to see your friend there playing for Europe? Oh, I mean, awesome. Obviously, Stevie's been, we've all known how much talent Stephen has had, you know, over the years. Uh, to play in the Ryder Cup team is, it's one of the biggest sporting events that you'll ever play in. So I was unbelievably pleased for him, the hard work and the effort that him and everyone put in, not just him. I mean, it's a team effort. Paul McGinley was a magnificent ca captain from start to finish. He didn't put a foot wrong. Uh, all the players are obviously singing his praises, and rightly so. I can't think of a job he could have done better. Uh, you're looking at you're looking at the land, sort of left and right. The speed of it, it's a little down the hill. It goes a little right to left in the middle, and I'm always trying to get it 18 inches past the hole if I if I can, and uh, try and give it give it a chance. Yeah, it looks a nice weight and a very good line. Oh, and how funny would that have been if I'd popped in? Not too bad though, not too bad. It's not quite 18 inches behind the hole, but we'll take it. Well played, sir. Oh, thank you. A four at your favourite hole in the world. Yes, indeed. Thanks for your time. Pleasure. Thanks very much.